Big list of case reporting, also known as the governor. Um, you know, we wouldn't have all these problems if it wasn't for Godova High School, Memphis liberals messing up everything. So I made a statement today about Memphis, you know, yesterday about how Memphis needs to improve in politics and, you know, how we need to respect our elders and how politicians are like teachers to, um, you know, to the international community, to our local community, and how we're the students. And so, you know, a former classmate of mine who are really like, but who is misguided because mainly of the educational system here in Memphis, he says, I do not know what you're currently doing, but to say people are not trying to debate their elected politicians, he said, are you being serious? Because this is one of the most ignorant statements I've ever heard. He called me ignorant, okay? And he says, comparing a politician to debating a teacher is one of the most outlandish comparisons I've ever heard. So Nicholas Pagese reporting came back upon him and stated, you know, we wouldn't have the U.S. dollar if it wasn't for politicians. They protect our heritage. They protect our pride. It's kind of like disrespecting your mother or father. They are our fathers and mothers. Nicholas Figueres reporting. How outlandish is that? Seeing an icon of Memphis. What a liberal town we're in. Not just liberal, but Cordova High School is a liberal mess. I like liberals, some of them, but not Cordova liberals. Seeing an icon of Memphis. Nicholas Pagese reporting, also known as the governor for Tennessee governor, young Republican here. Um, politicians protect the dollar, so why not better protect politicians? It's becoming quite a corporate success on Facebook. Um, you know, this idea was inspired, actually, um, through I was talking to a former classmate of mine, and so he stated to me, he said, Nick, why would you protect the politicians when the people elect the politicians. And I stated to him, well, that, that fact is clear, but the politicians protect our heritage. They're protecting our culture. They protect our U.S. dollars. Everything that we have in this great country, and in fact, anything that the world has, is protected by the politicians. So I came up with this unique, innovative idea called Politicians Protect the Dollar, So Why Not Better Protect Politicians? And it's Politicians Protect the Dollar, So Why Not Better Protect those who make the global establishment. And these are fans of Republican Nicholas Figueres for Tennessee governor. Um, I'm reaching fans all across the world from a lot of people in Europe to um, people in, in the Latin America, to people from around the world. Even the members of the Catholic Church have joined this campaign. So it's becoming a corporate success on Facebook. Nicholas Figueres reporting. Seeing an icon of Memphis, a corporate thing. Nicholas Pagese reporting here with our local news anchor, Bonnie Kinney. Um, could you describe what happened today at the election, Shelby County Election Commission? Well, basically, the Shelby County Election Commission decided that it was going to deny the suburban city's request for a vote in May. The suburban cities within Shelby County had wanted to put an item on the ballot that would have allowed their citizens to vote for a special school district. Um, this was all in response to the merger of Memphis and Shelby County schools. But an opinion from the state attorney general says that the suburban city's request is not legal and therefore um, the election commission denied their request to have that, in that issue on the ballot. Thank you. Nicholas Figueres reporting. Nicholas Figueres here with Commissioner Heidi Schaefer. As I was stating before, you know, they, I came up with the title, they came up with the title of calling me the governor here at the Election Commission by, having, by my woman, Karen Hart. And um, I just wanted to say that um, I believe Governor Hassan is a good person, you know, a, a very caring person. I do too. And, you know, his wife is from here in mm -hmm. Memphis and Shelby County, so we feel doubly thrilled because not only is Governor Haslam a good businessman and a good governor, but he's got roots through his wife <laughs> here and yeah. we love that because we are the largest county in, in Tennessee. Absolutely. And um, it, you know, this, how, ten how Memphis goes is how Tennessee goes, so it's very important to Tennessee that we do well. And I know we, Governor Haslam has this close to his heart. Yeah, absolutely. And maybe I'll take his, follow in his footsteps. There you go, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Commissioner Schaefer.